Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition Love in General Reading. This is for the element of water. So if you're Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces, someone who's rising, these messages are for you for the weekend of May 26th through the 28th, 2023. Um, so I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general. Uh, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you get some clarity. Also, if you're wanting to book a personal or private reading, be sure to check the description box below for ways to reach me. Okay, so we have the overall energy as the star. We've got the Ace of Wands. We have the Nine of Wands. We've got the Knight of Cups. The Three of Cups. The Ace of Pentacles. The Nine of Cups and the page of wands okay so seems like there's something coming to you um you being rewarded um or you receiving some sort of response from the universe um I don't know if you've been having some sort of concerns, um, whether it's about finances, relationship, a living situation. It just seems that whatever you've been fired up about or super passionate about, like the universe is cooling down that intensity. And so I feel that you know, things, there's something definitely being bestowed upon you. It's like abundance just raining down on you. Um, a response to your prayers just coming down and you being able to have a sense of relief or a celebration. So I feel like if you've been worried about anything, no need to worry. Um... In a love situation, there could be something going on where there's a, a long distance relationship forming. You might find yourself attracted to someone. It seems like you might initially be um, afraid to take on some sort of new opportunity. So it's something being presented to you. It's something that you want or desire, but you may initially be afraid of it. Um, maybe because you feel that something is too far out of reach. Um, so yeah, relationship could be long distance. Um, maybe there's a job opportunity, but it's at a distance. But I do feel that something's being offered to you and this is something that you wanted or asked for. A relationship, I feel is more so open. Either you just started dating um, and you're just having fun and, you know, no strings attached, that's expected. Or you voluntarily choose to be a part of uh, an open relationship or a relationship that has no boundaries really it's no strings attached it's like no if we're going to be in this relationship then we have to have an open mind um i feel that there's going to be transparency at least the foundation of whatever this relationship is is based off of openness and transparency now, for some of you, that is probably fine with you. That might be what you want at this time. You're like, that's fine. I'm open um, to this type of relationship. I don't need to have any strings attached. I don't need a commitment just yet. Um, so I feel that you are choosing to go into something knowing openly what, what this is. 
Um, there's also the possibility of maybe someone pouring their heart out to you, um, expressing some sort of love that they have for you, or maybe you feel comfortable or free to express your love for someone in that way. Any relationship or friendships could be based off of spirituality as well. I feel that you guys are already connected in another realm. Um, I feel that there is some sort of unconditional love between you and this person um, or group even. Mm. If you study astrology, I would look and see where Aquarius is at. It may be significant if it's either in your fifth or seventh house, uh, even your first house. Um, I will also look and see if you had any Neptune connections with somebody because something feels like un unconditional or like having no boundaries. Now, for others of you, this could strictly be spiritual. This you're connected with someone in a in the astrals. Um, it's non-physical. It's just something like you dream about this person. You're connected, and maybe that is something that's also being confirmed for you as well. But I do feel like there is something that's going to materialize. Hmm. You may want to look up to see what the seven pointed star means because I feel like there is some significance to that. Um, I don't know offhand what it means, but I feel like it's standing out. Mm. Also seems like you'll be reaching some sort of agreement with someone, um, making peace with someone. There could be some sort of forgiveness, especially if you didn't trust someone or you were holding on to some sort of a grudge. I feel like maybe you no longer feel that way. You're ready to release any negative feelings that you have towards someone. Maybe it's not just love, but you know, it could be a friend or family member. And you guys are choosing to love. You're choosing to forgive. Mm. Somebody is coming off like an open book though. They're like, ask me anything. Like I'm an open book, just, uh, just ask me. I feel like someone's honesty or authenticity could be refreshing. I feel like you're also gonna be happy or satisfied. Something makes you feel happy or satisfied this weekend. Something puts your mind at ease or gives you um, a sense of peace. There also could be some sort of wish fulfillment. You could also be enjoying some sort of entertainment this weekend, uh, including exotic dancers. I feel like you're happy or yeah, maybe it makes gives you a sense of peace to be around people who are so free to be themselves. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be around some kind of entertainment this weekend. You also could be very comfortable with your body. Um, and you might find yourself um, 
showing it off. Um, maybe a little bit of your exhibitionist site could be showing this weekend. Somebody's an exhibitionist and somebody's a voyeur. As far as creativity, I feel that you're going to feel like in your zone. You're going to feel very comfortable um, doing something creative. You could be collaborating with uh, other creative people. Uh, I feel like you're also going to learn something new this weekend about yourself or discover something new about yourself. Or it could be that you discover something new about um, somebody around you or a friend. Um, but you definitely could be discovering some sort of gift or talent that you have. Or maybe other people are like edging you on and like, oh, you know, you're so good or your voice is so good. Like somebody is like really um, encouraging you. But the love situation definitely seems like it's more on the lines of friends with benefits or just something that's just for fun, not taking something too serious right now. I'm hearing the name Dominique. You definitely could be filling yourself. Mm. Now, okay, I do see a little bit of jealousy or somebody is envious, mm, especially if it's dealing with that uh, open relationship or friends with benefits situation. I do feel like there could be a little bit of jealousy going on, but somebody also being like, but this is what we agreed to, or you already knew this. Um, but then I feel that someone is going to do something to to appease your ego. Um, they want to make you happy. They're like, okay, um, in order for everybody to be happy, how about I do this? So I kind of feel like somebody maybe is definitely spreading the love or has the means to appease everybody. I feel like somebody doesn't want you angry at them. If this is about dating, it seems like you're just like if you finally have freedom or went through some sort of a breakup, you're ready to have fun again. Some of these situations is about somebody juggling, though. Um, almost like everybody wants to be in somebody's favor. And people appeasing this one particular person. That's also where some of this jealousy is coming from. 
mm, even if it's not like romantic, it could be some sort of jealousy thing in regards to friendships. Like, oh, like you invited uh, our friend so-and-so, but I wonder why I wasn't invited. Oh, well, that's okay. I know they like that thing. They, they've they got that thing. They know I don't really like that place, so it's okay. But it's still like you're feeling some type of way or like there's like some sort of friendly competition in regards to friendships. Um, hmm. I just see something about soulmates coming together. Soul groups or soulmates. Especially like more so platonic. It's possible that someone's going to pay your debt or there could be some sort of debt forgiveness. I feel like you're going to be invited to something. seems like there's a situation where somebody can't decide or make up their mind so they choose nothing or they choose themselves which leaves the other people feeling like well damn mm, maybe something was too hard of a decision and it's like I'm not choosing anybody I'm just choosing myself Okay, I feel like something's going to be revealed to you or you go looking for something and you might not be ready to see what you find. You're like, oh, I wasn't expecting to see this. Or I, you knew you were looking for something, but then you didn't handle it the way you thought you would. So just be careful about looking for things or looking for information. Um because maybe you can't handle it or at least you have like some, a different reaction than you anticipated as far as a job or career there could be a sudden firing or somebody might just quit it just seems like something happens with out the blue um there's a loss of control um and so it just seems like if you do get fired, there's something else around the corner for you. There's another opportunity. Again, it feels like you're being invited to something. And I feel that there's going to have to be some sort of an agreement. Like everybody has to agree. Hmm. 
You could get invited to join someone on vacation or a trip, or you're the one inviting someone. And I just see somebody accepting this invitation. Now it also could be that you're just being invited to apply to something and you do it, but I really feel like it's about meeting up. Mm. Whatever you agree to though may have to be a secret. Whether it's a friendship, job, relationship, something is like a mutual agreement, but it's in secret. Everybody is agreeing in secret. If you are getting with someone new sexually, somebody is teaching somebody some tricks. I don't know who was teaching who, but somebody is learning some new tricks. Something's going on where it seems like someone shares something or expresses something, but then deletes it, but not before it's seen by somebody. And I feel like somebody is going to still respond or say something about what you deleted. It also seems that somebody's going to fight for you. Someone does not want to lose you. So if you try to shut someone out um, or distance yourself or give someone a silent treatment, I don't feel like they're going to allow that to happen. Again, even if it's like a friendship situation, maybe you got upset with your friend, you don't want to talk to them anymore. They're going to keep calling and texting like, we've been friends too long for blah, blah, blah. Like, you have to talk to me. We have to talk this out. So I do feel that someone is willing to fight for you. Uh, even if you quit a job, they somebody might call you up like, we don't want to lose you. Is there anything that we can do to get you to stay or to come back? Like someone wants you to stay or come back. All right, so let's see what your energy cards are saying. Okay, additional messages for water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising for this Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You have Angel of Balance appreciation walking away overall energy this uh, storm or storm warning okay so I feel that there has to be a shakeup or something has to crumble before there is peace or in order to restore balance so it kind of looks like order out of um, chaos. So there's something that's going on. Your current situation could be very chaotic right now. 
um, things are falling apart. Maybe you feel like you have no control over certain things. And it's like you're having to surrender to some sort of unexpected changes or events. But it seems like you find peace. Mm. For relationships, something is looking like a possible breakup. Or at least um, cracks of the foundation of the relationship are being exposed so that it can be resolved or fixed. This also could be like destruction of self. Like you might be going through some sort of big transformation. Maybe you're coming to some sort of realization that um, you're not the person you thought you were or you've changed or you, you weren't aware of it or you could have been in denial of something. But now you're at peace with who you've become. I feel like someone is also giving you a gift uh, to show their appreciation. So someone could be sending you a gift or gifting you, they're gifting you. You also might feel honored, but it's like you're shocked at somebody's gesture. Mm. If this is about a breakup or someone quitting their job, they did not feel appreciated or you didn't feel appreciated. And so it's like I'm leaving to find someone who appreciates me or a place that appreciates my talents. It also looks like someone is um, going to see if the green is the if the grass is greener on the other side and somebody else also just had this energy in their reading about the grass being greener and it kind of looks like someone is like well you leave me no choice like now i'm gonna go see for myself so you could be taking some sort of unexpected risk all right so hopefully these messages help um, feel free to leave your feedback. Thank you guys for watching. Sending you love and grace.